Hi everyone, it's Barnaby here for Spurred On. One more time, we're going to do a youth watch. I don't know why I said one more time, because we're probably going to do it every single week. But what's important is I've got Craig Vi with me, the expert, the guy in the know about our young guns at Hotspur Way, our beautiful academy. Craig, how are you? I'm very well, mate. How are you? Let's get straight into it for part one. Uh, the under-18s, they played against Southampton away this week and they got a little victory. They did, yeah. Quite a big victory, actually. I mean, Southampton are always credited with having an, an excellent academy, uh, as do we, of course. And I think uh, eventually the class shone through. So we won 3-1. We conceded an early goal in the game. Um, a, a, quite a funny story. The bus, the coach taking the players down there actually got stuck in traffic. So they were late arriving. I don't know whether it had anything to do taking with that. Taking our whole... players? Yeah, taking our players, yeah, down there. Can't they drive themselves there? <laughs> Surely they know. all live in Enfield. <laughs> Yeah, but They're South old enough South to drive, aren't they? No, no, it was a, this is away at Southampton. Oh, it was away yeah. at Southampton. Sorry, yeah. my bad. Carry on. Yeah, so um, maybe they got stuck in the whole, you know, Dover, Calais are you just, disaster. Are you, are you just naming places on the South Coast? I think I or am. Or are you talking yeah. about the immigration problem yes, we currently have? Yes, the immigration problem, yeah. Wow, this o is operation gone, Stack. I feel like this has gone a little above and beyond the call of spurred on duty. But, is this uh, not, okay, so the bus got stuck. Yeah, the bus got stuck, so anyway, they were late arriving, and uh, it, it, it basically seemed like that in the first sort of 10, 15 minutes of the match. They were tired. They were basically, it was like they hadn't quite turned up yet. Too much and, Haribo uh, on the bus. Exactly, too much Haribo on the bus. Yeah, because uh, they're, they're young players. Yeah. Uh, cans of pop. Um, uh, but then they soon grew into the game, they, so they conceded an early goal, and um, two notable performances. Samuel, I hope I say this right, Shashoa, Shashoa, Sammy Shashoa. Sammy Shashoa, yes, very good. Uh, is a midfielder, quite a slight um, frame. He's, he reminds me a bit of Cy Goddard, who plays in the, the under-21s, the development squad. Okay. Very technical player, played very, very well. Scored a really nice goal, 1-2, uh, back into the into the box. Uh, and also set up Ryan Loft. And he's the other player that I'd like to speak about. Lofty. Lofty, and he is lofty. Lofty is lofty. He's mm -hmm. very tall, quite a big lad, very physical. Uh, and he came away with two goals. Uh, Kieran McKenna was really happy that the, the lads, after conceding early, had uh, really played themselves back into the game. Bounce back ability. Yeah, bounce back ability indeed. And we played some really nice imaginative football uh, all on the deck, so it was really good to see. Sweet, so good for the under 18s. However, the under 21s, they didn't win. They lost no. the weekend to Sunderland, didn't they? They did, yeah, they did. And um, it wasn't a great game, to be honest with you. Um, and again, conceded an early goal. And um, there were about three or four players who had travelled with the first team squad to Leicester. Mm. I don't know whether that had any effect at all, but. Um, Again, we just didn't seem to turn up in the first five or ten minutes. Gooch, quite a, a, a strange name, scored for Sunderland in the first five minutes. And it Gooch? Was, yeah, it was. Used, used to captain England's cricket team? Not, yeah, not Graham. Oh. Um, yeah, that, that would just be weird. But um, right. it was a bit of a Gooch performance uh, from Spurs uh, under-21s, actually, uh, throughout the game. There were just a, a few half chances. I read and uh, one of the tweets from one of the players, I can't remember who it was, that said we just didn't um, do enough in the final third. Does that sound about right? Yeah, that does sound about right. And Josh Anoma was playing. He had a few sort of half chances. Josh Anoma. Yeah, they, they were kind of snatched at, really. Um, I, it was just it was just one of those games. I mean, Sunderland had uh, quite an experienced team. They had right. three or four players in their team who all had Premier League experience. So I'm talking about, like oh, between all of those players, it was over 150 games in right. the Premier League. So okay. that that is an excuse. I just think we just didn't turn. You up. can't win them all. You can't win them all. Uh, and finally, in part one, uh, Milos Velkovic, one of your favourites. Yeah, big time. Rumours of him going to Spain. Yeah, to uh, Sporting Gijón. Ah. Sporting Gijón. Yeah, apparently um, it, 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 it's a done deal. There are quotes that are attributed to him saying that um, he signed the deal, he's very happy to go over to Spain. The manager knows him quite well. I, I don't know a lot about that really and uh, he seems like he's ready to go over there and play. Personally, if it does happen, I, I think it's a real positive. The club have been looking for him to go out on loan mm -hmm. to a, a quality club. Sporting Gijón, of course, are back in the, the uh, La Liga mm -hmm. this season. They just drew against Real Madrid in their last game, 0-0. Okay. So, I don't know, if he, gets, if he does go there and get some game time, I could see that it could be a good thing for him. Okay, I'm going to play devil's advocate and say I'd rather him get a loan deal to an English club. Someone in the championship, maybe, where he can you know get the hustle and bustle and the pace. But, hey... Let us know what you mm. think in the comments section below, uh, not just about Milos Velkovic, but about everything that Craig has told us in part one. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV and tune in to part two, where we'll be talking about our loanees who are out playing well all across Britain. Hi guys, Barnaby here for Spurred On with Craig Vi for part two of this week's Youth Watch, where we're going to talk about all our young guns who are out on loan uh, 